Thank you for joining me. I'm grateful you are here. I was filming outside, but there's lots of combines and they're making a whole lot of noise. So we are not going to be filming outside today. So I want to encourage you for time purposes to read Proverbs 1 beginning in verse 8 that speaks about shunning evil. And there's a whole bunch there from Proverbs um, 1, 8 through 19 that I would like you to read. It says, in 15, my son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path, for their feet may run to evil and they may haste to shed blood. Please read all of that, Proverbs 1, 8 through 19, those verses. So I was thinking today, you know, the circle of friends that you have is probably decreasing. In this world where there's so much deception and so much darkness, it's hard to stay in God's word sometimes with certain friends or family. So perhaps that means that you need to separate yourself from some people. Because if you keep your circle small with those true believers that can lift you up and you can lift up, I think you might be better off and it is okay to have just that sore, that that small core solid group of people who can be the embodiment of Christ who you don't have to surrender to things of the world with. So Romans 12:2 says this, and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? You know, I've got something else that I want to share in Philippians as well. And this is Philippians 2, beginning in verse 14. Do all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life, so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain or labored in vain. So you might be feeling kind of isolated. You might be thinking, am I the only one who sees all of this amongst the group of people that you hang out with? And it's okay. Standing on the word of God isn't easy, and you might be the only one to see it, and everybody else around you might be succumbing, but your first obligation is to be obedient to the word of God. And if that means you lose some friends as I have, it's okay. If that means that some of your family won't speak to you because you're not going to surrender to things that you know God would disagree with, that's okay. So I just really want to encourage you because I think as the world gets darker, it's going to be more of a challenge to be focused on God and to stay in his word. And if the people in your corner are not going to help you, maybe there are people you shouldn't have in your corner. And so I'm not saying to never have anything to do with them. I'm just saying to be mindful and pay attention of what people are asking, what people are saying, what people are doing, and maybe remove yourself a little bit. Distance yourself. I know it's hard, especially if it's family. You might see them on the holidays, but that doesn't mean you have to participate with them and all the other things that they may be doing in their lives that you know God says this isn't good. And there may come a time when you have to be the only one to stand. Stand for what God says in his word. So the more strength that you have and the more you're okay with, you know what? It's okay if I'm alone. It's okay that this person isn't in my life anymore because I would rather stand for truth of what God says in his word because I know one day I have to stand before Jesus as judge and I would rather be more concerned about that than be concerned about friends or family members who I know are not doing the right thing and who maybe are asking something of me that I know God says isn't good. So standing firm, I just want to encourage you, always stand on the word of God and it's okay if your circle is getting smaller, I think that's okay. Stand on what God says in his word and read it. Armor up, we write at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.